Hey everyone, it's Getting Crafty 101. I'm going to try to make this a super fast video because this is my fifth time I've had all kinds of trouble. I'm not going to go into it. The last time I had to use my husband's phone because mine wasn't working right. And this is it uploading. Yeah, 499 minutes. His is an iPhone 4. I have an iPhone 3. I don't understand. His wasn't as clear as mine. And it there is no way I'm going to wait that long for this video to do. So we're just going to do a lot faster <coughs> and get this done. This is um, about all the trays that I still have remained open right now. I was going to quickly go over everything. If I, I'm not already talking to you on um, about a trade, trades are closed for everybody else. I'm done. So, real quick, I had to make a list of everybody to get more organized so I knew what was going on with everybody. Blissful Wishes, 18. She got her package today. Candy Cupcake, 11. Hers is on the way. Claudia Lala, 3. We were going to wait. She wanted one of these square molds and then the rectangle, but then we decided we were going to wait and do it in a little bit. Um, I did have both for you, but now since we're going to wait, somebody else has asked for the blue mold, so I'm giving them to them. Um, but I'll probably have more molds by the time we do it anyway, so I'm not worried about it. Crazy Zombie Mommy, you wanted the gym mold. There it is. I think you're going shopping this weekend. And like I told you, you can pick out some things from uh, Youngkin's M, Megan Beads, House of Ink, and Miss Loveless Nights. She also does molds, or even on Amazon, and I will order it and send it to you for an equal trade. Because I didn't have the other items you wanted. Then, um, Loving My Baby, you want it. What now? The door's been open, so now little bitty critters are trying to get in here. You wanted two squares, two rectangles, two ovals, two guns, two dominoes, shot glasses. I'm not cutting it so you're getting all four. Uh, and two circles. And my note, like I said, I had to make a note to see if y'all were waiting on me or if I was waiting on y'all. Not trying to rush you, but um, I'm waiting on a response video. So if you're waiting on me, I'm waiting on you. <laughs> so then... Um, Ah, like I said, this is my fifth time, and I keep having to explain that I don't know how to say your name. Uh, I'm going to call you Lizzie. I don't know how to say it, but there it is. Um, you, this is what I have of what you've asked for. I have one blue mold. I have one rectangle. I have the two, um, what I think they're calling the dominoes, the two ovals, uh, the bow, these things to mold. Like I said, I'm just throwing these in there. Any cute big old nose. Uh, you wanted two gun molds, but I only have the one unless loving my baby changes mind or, you know, if something doesn't, if we end up not trading. Um, but this is my last mold. I don't even have a gun mold, but I've already made a lot of gun pieces, so that's okay. If I want one, I'll order another one. And then, um, Victorian Garden, you wanted the uh, Saints mold the dominoes mold and some of the red squares i don't know how many red squares you're wanting i have 15 uh this is what i have all together then i've added a few items to i went ahead and cut up my heart molds like i said all these molds some have been used and some haven't been used but they were all bought since january so they're all still in good shape i have three of these which i'm not going to measure you probably recognize them at this point I have three of these. They're all about the same size. And I have three of these stars. And they're all deep. None of them are shiny in the middle, but that's what I have. And then I have uh, University of Kentucky, Auburn University, Alabama, Ole Miss, Ohio. I have three of these, one of these, 12.34 um, uh, black and white. Um, I might, if nobody wants these, I'll probably just end up keeping them because I've been playing the Sculpey 3 and my hands get pretty hot. And so I don't think I'm going to have as much trouble as I originally thought with this. But, you know, I might still try it if somebody has something softer just because. And anyways, then, like I said, if anybody wants one of these that I'm trading with, I'll just throw it in there. You don't have to give me anything for it. It'll just be like a little extra in it, which I'll give you extras too. But, you know, this will be part of them, I guess, is um, the bears. I showed you the butterfly with hers and the bow. And then these have a 
little flowers and little butterflies and then the pez this jar and these tattoos i haven't done tattoos i'm kind of intimidated by it so i don't know if i even want to try it then I'm trying to remember everything i said like i said this is my fifth time to do this video oh my god anyways so i wanted to give a shout out to the video oh now i gotta go find it again because i've left it hold on hold on fast history I saw this video and I just really like it. And anybody who's having problems with Amazing Mole Putty needs to go watch this video because I think it's going to be great. Um, it's from Pastel Perfects. No, listen to me. It's Paper Pastels. Uh, she uploaded it today. Um, go watch it. It's really good. So, that being said, oh, I showed you all my two gummy bears. I feel like it's Groundhog's Day, you know? Anyways, I haven't baked them or trimmed around the edges or any of, any of that stuff yet. Last night, I was having trouble getting them out of the mold. And then I thought, oh, yeah, somebody froze them on one video. So, I did that, and it worked great. Can you tell I sound rehearsed? Then, uh, last night, I don't always watch your videos. A lot of times, I will listen as I'm doing things. And that's what I was doing. I was listening to Young Zim. She was opening up someone's package and... She made the comment that they use puff paint. And while she said that, I was playing with puff paint. So I thought that was just so weird. I don't know. That kind of stuff happens a lot on YouTube. But um, I was just being silly and playing with this stuff, which I, I don't like the way the eyes did. But it's still, it's a cute concept. I was, these are my screen molds, some of them, that I was playing with. I put a little goatee on him. I may like it if I put maybe a rhinestone in their eye or something. I don't know. Their eyes just kind of, they sunk in. They don't look right. And I made this piece. Just going to be a pendant. And then I made these last night. This is going to be a ring. And here's the pendant to it. And here's the, the I'll pick up one earring because it's not coordinated. One earring, and then I did a uh, hot pink and black too. These are the earrings, two of these, and then here's the pendant. And because the, these are square and this is that funny shape, I did a tiered cake looking effect. This is square and then it's got some funky shapes on top. Man, my camera, which is just the three, you know, the iPhone 3, whatever, the old one, focuses so much better than my husband's iPhone 4. And I felt like I was getting drunk watching my own video. It was so shaky. Anyways, and then last night I was working on these. These were, I haven't, uh, see I'm forgetting what I was supposed to be telling you. I haven't poured resin in a long time because I have been trying to go through the pile of experiments that I've done and getting them either finished and on Etsy or in the trash because I'm tired of looking at them. So that's what I've been doing. And these were some fails that I had. They were red glitter and then I did a backing of solid red paint. Well, I put white in with this cheap paint and the paint turned orange so it looked really stupid because I had red glitter in the front and orange backs so I have since then been painting with my red paint this paint and uh, I haven't cleaned up around the edges I'm gonna put another coat on it and then I might put rhinestones around the sides or something to kind of dressy that up a little bit because it looks kind of this is real shiny and this is real flat looking you know something to dress it up some i don't know but that's what i was doing with those because all of these were failed then uh, we have been cleaning outside we have a double breezeway where during the summer i clean it at least once a week by emptying the entire thing out and uh sweeping it putting the water hose through everything you know just totally cleaning it out to keep spiders away and what have you, because we live in the country. My house is sitting on what used to be a cotton field. Just like, I don't know, four years ago it was a cotton field. So, um, there's critters. So, to keep that away, I clean it often. Well, during the winter, I don't go outside, usually. I really don't. So, it's, it was a mess. My kids have one of those little kitchens out there, and I was cleaning out, and I found all this cool stuff for crafting. So, that video that I said for, um... The amazing mold putty. She talks about getting a bowl, putting whatever you're going to mold, which, not this. I know this is more for a silicone type mold. But anyway, just for example's sake, she puts it in there, 
and then she fills it up and then once this is completely filled with the amazing pole day, she gets something and smashes it and it makes it have a real smooth finish on both top and bottom and it's really cool so i thought well this bowl would be great for that this bowl would be great for that this piece could be cool for you know something like that and it's got these ridges on the inside so i think that'd be kind of cool looking and this iron would be awesome to flatten i need to stop for air <laughs> my last video was 18 months i'm trying to make it shorter okay then there was this um alligator that i thought was cool this short little ruler, it's only a six inch ruler, which is cool for these molds. I saw this piece, put it in the junk pile, then pulled it back out and debated and debated. And so I decided to keep it. I don't know if I ever will mold it or not, but I thought it was kind of cool looking. I found this. So like I said, uh, for now, I guess it's probably my sixth time or something, I don't know that uh, this is how hoarding starts is when you're cleaning your kid's room and you can't get rid of nothing because it's all a craft idea. What do you think of? Yes, Mickey Mouse. Ah, it is actually, I think, supposed to be like dynamite or some sort of explosive. It says danger. It's a kid's toy. But anyways, I'm going to use it as a mouse mold. Cute. Then there was these little erasers. Then there was a steak I thought would be good for texturing. Then... Um, I found this thing, which would be good for pushing my stickers down in. If I can keep it clean, I'll keep it. Then, um, Christmas tree. A leafy looking thing, which would be good mold for texturing. Uh, this would be good for texturing lettuce and stuff. This piece that I'll probably never use, but couldn't seem to make myself throw away. A little cone. And then this face was really cool. I found this egg. And then right afterwards, I found this. So what do you think of? Come on, everybody. This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Yeah. <laughs> it was much funnier so many times. After you say it so many times, it kind of loses its funniness. But this is the first time you heard it, so hopefully you liked it. Uh, and then this, I guess it was a money thing, but I like it. Then I was telling Sassy Clay Mom, I had a package that came in today that I bought for your um, contest. I was going to use, not these parts, but I was going to make molds of those parts with some of the silicone stuff, which I still don't even know how to use. I haven't read the manual. But um, I was going to make molds of the entire Hello Kitty house. And I was going to make the entire Hello Kitty house and all its features in resin. Yeah. Then reality hit. I don't have time right now. I just have, I'm trying to finish up too many little things right now. Um, I'm actually, my pieces in my store, I'm actually making it into a company. So, uh, you know, registering with stay and, and all, the whole hoopla is what I'm doing. And so between running to my insurance place because I had to get a bond and, and then trying to make business cards and make patching prettier and just researching stuff and trying to clean that mess up and I don't have time I really don't I mean I think I'm going to do Miss Loveless um night her represent I'm going to try to because I don't think it would take as much time as this but yeah I, I had big dreams for you sassy clay mom um I, I'm sure I will do it still at some point because I really want to and this was like $50 it was maybe 58 I don't remember it was a lot of money to order and I'm not going to send it back so at some point I will do it and thank you very much for inspiring me and I will love watching everybody else's entries so that was that and I already showed you that and y'all are lucky I'm my, well, not y'all my husband is lucky because the last video I actually caught my husband on video. I went to open this door to show y'all the double breezeway, which I'll still do. I wonder if anybody's out there. They're probably hiding now. And my husband, well, there's Megan. He was standing like right here with his face right here when I opened. It was real funny. And he goes, I don't want to be on your video, which he just pulled up. Ha <laughs> ha. But um, anyways, there's Megan. This is the breezeway we were cleaning up today. But anyways, when I opened the door, his face was right there. And he was like, I was like, what are you doing? And it was really funny because my son was out there in his night pants and he, he threw a fit. He said, I'm never coming out of my room again because I got him, you know, he's 15 years old and he thinks he's grown. So he didn't, he was in his plaid pajama bottoms and I embarrassed him. But my husband, apparently what he was doing is he was listening to on the other side of the door because my daughter told him to do that. 
because I throw a fit when they walk in here when I'm in the middle of a video. And earlier I was on, and he started knocking on the door, and I was kind of ugly about it. And so now what they do is they'll stand outside the door, and they'll put their ear up to, to see if I'm done recording. And that's what he was doing, and I didn't know it, and I opened the video, and he was like right there in our face. <laughs> it was so funny, and I really want to show it to you. But I'm not going to upload for, let's see, how long does it say now? It still says 485 minutes. That is just retarded. So I'm going to close this now, and I hope you all enjoy.